Hi, my name is Tom McKechnie, and we did our project on evolution of human health and nutrition. So basically, what is nutrition? Nutrition is the process of providing or obtaining the food necessary for health and growth. Nutrition is also, um, the branch of nutrition in science is the branch that is basically concerned with how we, um, that deals with our, like all the different nutrients that we intake and all the food that we eat. And then different types of nutrients are carbohydrates, fats, fibers, minerals, and proteins. Carbohydrates are basically any large group of organic compounds uh, occurring in foods and living tissues, including sugars, starch, and cellulose, and they also contain um, high, high amounts of hydrogen and oxygen. Carbohydrates provide the body with energy, so our body breaks down any carbohydrates that we eat and turns them into energy to use. And also, the found in carbohydrates are simple and complex sugars that we also use to break down into healthy energy. And then with um, Carbohydrates, they are also found, um, one of the biggest things that they're found is bread, so anytime you eat bread is also when you are um, intaking carbohydrate. Um, fats are any, are the body's main, it's one of the body's main energy sources. Fats are basically a storage system, so any sort of energy that you get is going to be stored into your fat, and that's going to be how our body synthesizes energy. Um, it also contains essential fatty acids, including tri triglycerides and cholesterol. It's stored not along with storing energy. It also is vital to protect our main organs. So any sort of like fat, any sort of fat is also used as like kind of a layer of like protection, and it also acts as a messenger to help the, the proteins do their jobs. And one of the healthy fats that is found in the human diet lately, like is avocados and, che and, and cheese, are very common sources of um, fats. Fiber is a dietary material containing multiple substances that help with the digestive system. It contains cellulose, lignin, and pectin, which are resistant to the action of the digestive systems. Fiber also dissolves in water and, and slows down the di digestive process to allow the body to absorb as many nutrients as possible throughout the um, to help our bodies. And one of, and two very two very common things you can find fiber in is any sort of bean and split peas. Minerals are essential for the essential nutrients that help with essential growth. It helps us build strong bones and teeth, revitalize skin and hair, nourishes muscles and nerve functions, and also assists in the metabolic, metabolic process. Um, two things that you can eat very easily find any sort of healthy minerals are any sort of dairy products, and we I put milk and um, yogurt up there as an example. Proteins are organic compounds that can, consisting of large molecules made of amino acid chains. They're an essential part of every single living organism and are structural components of the human body tissues such as muscle and hair. Proteins are the building blocks of the human body that help with, with um, not only creating but also building up uh, muscles, bones, cartilage, skin, and blood. And it also helps make many, um, many body chemicals such as um, enzyme and protein, uh, en enzymes and hormones. And an example of proteins is you can find, easily find any sort of protein in any sort of meat. So, so I'm going to start off with early human beings. Early human beings take a beginning in, initially in Africa about 200,000 years ago. At the max, maybe 250,000 years ago, but uh, bottom line is 200,000 years. Uh, it's also very important to note that this time period, the Earth is experiencing an uh, ice age. And as Human beings begin to migrate out of Africa, going into Asia, Europe, crossing the Bering Bridge into the Americas. Humans begin to see a change of the environment. That means different animals, different plants. And when it comes to food, their entire meal and their entire diet is going to change. That being said, as human beings migrate, there is no essential focus and ideal form of food that humans must consume because in reality, there's no consensus about what types of food there is around the world. It all changes up between, depending on where they are at one time and place. Uh, as humans begin to migrate and they start going into different areas, they can either gather food or hunt. Uh, gathering involves going out into the wild, picking up uh, plants, berries, fruits, nuts, any sorts. Hunting involves going after wild beasts, whether that be with spears, arrowheads, eventually uh, capturing, holding down animals, small animals, big game. It all depends on the types of food that are available in certain continents. It all changes up. 
Uh, when it comes to animals, animals are a very crucial part to human diet. Animals provide meat. Meat is very high in fat, calories, and most importantly, protein. Something that is very rare to see amongst fruit and is an important, uh, essential part to building the brain for human beings. Uh, not to mention that meat is also very easy to digest and it is naturally untoxic. That being said, for human beings at the beginning, they don't have to worry about is this food going to ill me? Is it not going to get me sick? You could just eat meat, get the proper nutrients, it's easy to digest, and we're talking business, it's all good. Uh, as we move on to plants, we start to see high abundance in contrast to animals. Animals are a little bit more scarce in nature. Plants, you see them just about everywhere, pretty much all around the world, whether that be berries, almonds, you name it. Uh, the only difference between meat and plants is plants contain a lot of vitamins and proteins, whereas meats contains a little bit more proteins and yeah, uh, it's also a little bit harder to digest. Uh, in order to digest plants, you need a bigger stomach. Uh, meats, you do not. It's easier to process. Not to mention that plants are also toxic, can be. If you do not know what you're eating, it can turn into a problem. So for early human beings, finding what plants will get you sick or won't get you sick, it was a A or B and finding out by yourself. In today's day and age, I'll be talking about unnatural foods, chemicals in foods, processed foods, and nutrition diets. Unnatural foods include turkeys, soy milk, dairy products such as cheese, yogurt, cream cheese, meats like steaks and hamburgers. Eating meat was made possible when fire was first discovered, so that changed or it changed the human diet and it, it evolved it. And from that, our chewing was changed and it also allowed us to use, to start cooking our meat and using different tools such as like a whisk or a wooden spoon and it, it, and that evolved into causing diseases such as obesity, type 2 diabetes, cancer, heart disease, and high cholesterol. Diseases like that are basically a reflection of the diet that we are consuming now. And then our bodies are basically consuming a lot more sugar than it can handle, than it was originally made to handle, which causes which causes people to have diabetes and diseases like I previously mentioned. Chemicals in foods such as trans fats and hydrogenic fats are the most common. Uh, when foods are shipped to stores or even to homes and just stored, they're sprayed with food chemicals, chemical cleaners, and fungicides, probably to preserve the food to make it last longer. And people don't realize that even the utensils that we use in today's day and age, our food absor absorbs those chemicals that are released in like non-stick pans, um, baking ware, and utensils. Um, processed food is basically fast food like McDonald's, um, frozen foods, basically almost everything in the grocery store. Basic, basically everything in the grocery store. And the definition of processed food is a change in food that occurs before it is made available to us. So before we even get food, it's being processed, chemicals are being put into this food. And so therefore we have no natural food. Everything is, is tampered with before we get it. Food suppliers, they make more, they make more money by this by putting chemicals into food and supplying it to us because then they can make more and supply more and of course it tastes better. Nutrition diet is basically the way to have a healthy nutrition diet would include a good balance of vegetables, fruits, whole grains, kind of like what they, what early humans did and because they had limit, they had limited resources so therefore they were ultimately
definitely more healthier. And now it's more processed food. So that's what we are limited to. That's what we're exposed to. Farmer markets provide fresh foods. So, and that promotes healthy diets and weight loss. Food has altered the course and direction of human societies. Um, today in the modern world, we have the luxury of being able to pick and choose what our daily diet consists of, but back then our ancestors didn't because they were constantly traveling and migrating to different places, being exposed to different types of habitats, animals, seeds, all of that stuff. Um, back then the human diet was designed by nature to consists mainly of raw foods and very little cooked and processed foods. Um, nowadays, we believe that if we were to follow the paleo diet, um, we would be able to overcome obesity because our bodies don't need meat to develop. Over the years, we've adapted and accustomed to eating meat as well as being able to cook and eat it and now we're we're going overboard we're eating too much processed foods and for example no one really likes to eat apples anymore because it takes so much to bite into the apple and to break the skin and then to fully chew and process the skin so fire has changed throughout human history um, basically because our stomachs have literally been indented because they've shrunk, we've been using them less, um, our foreheads have leveled out because our brains have been developing, our jaws have become more weak and more small because they're being used less. Um, for example, stress develops alignment with your teeth and over the past thousand years we've been eating so much processed food that our teeth and our jaws haven't been stressed enough and that's why we need braces and we have crooked teeth. Um, our hunter-gatherers back then would collect food all day and then they would consume a majority of their diet through cooked carbohydrates at night and hunter-gatherers do the same thing today. It's a very big misconception to think that eating a little bit periodically throughout your day is the healthiest form because it's not. Um, and in this hunter gathering, you have the males hunting and the females gathering. And this specialization created a bond and a sort of trust. And we see the psychology that brought everyone together back then. We still see it today. Back then, you would have societies of people trying to protect each other and thrive off of each other. And today, we see the same exact thing. And this was the evolution of human health and nutrition.